What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Good early afternoon from Johannesburg, South Africa. I had an overnight flight, so I was super jet-lagged. Um, just slept for around six hours, went to the grocery store, grabbed some goodies. I love South Africa so far. South Africa has been my favorite country. While I've been traveling in Africa, I've been to Nigeria, I've been to Ghana now, so back in South Africa pretty excited but I do want to try to get a couple of videos out for you guys I'm feeling pretty sluggish um, but internet is working well here it's fast I was having a lot of issues with the last place in Ghana so I just want to get some content out here so we're gonna go over our friend Bitcoin we're sitting at 39,000 uh, we're down about 0.44 on the day we're sitting a market cap of 741 billion I'm gonna have to find a way to bring my laptop up a bit so I'm not looking straight down. Uh, 24 hour volume, 36.29 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app. And you can grab one of their incredible Visa cards, cashback in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix Prime, travel incentives, $25 just for signing up through my referral. So let's take a look at BTC on the four hour time frame. So we pushed all the way up very close to this level of resistance, about 40.5K. And we got rejected we fell back below the ema so we're continuing to trade sideways here in a bit of a downtrend and once again come down to 38.5k which is the support of the gaussian channel as you can see here we had a bullish divergence early sign that the bears are running out of strength and we saw a beautiful bounce back to the upside now i have noticed a falling wedge pattern on the four hour time frame as you can see here we do have a beautiful falling wedge so if we do come back down to this level of support which is coming in at about 37.8K, and we see a nice bounce and we can break out of this pattern. We would be in a technical target to the top of the wedge, which is currently coming in here at about 46K. We can also consolidate here if we see a little bit of consolidation. Consolidation, consolidation, consolidation. We come up, we retest, and we break through. We could see a large breakout back to the upside for BTC. Now, of course, the bearish scenario is we come down, we lose this level of support, and we break down from this falling wedge pattern. We lose the Gaussian channel on the five-day time frame. Let me quickly pop it open here. Here's the Gaussian once again. So you can see we're coming back down to 38.5. Now, we've tested this level of support quite a few times. So if it does break, as I've been mentioning, that is relatively bearish because because the last times we've broken down from the Gaussian channel, it has led to future sell-off. So definitely crucial for the bulls to hold that level of support. If we look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, we still have a bullish divergence on the money flow as price is dropping, money is flowing back into BTC and a small bullish divergence on the RSI. Now your next strong level of support is coming in at 37.5. You can see all the support in this area. We are in a technical target to the downside of about 33.4K. We almost came back down to this previous swing low. We bounced up to the 0.786, got rejected by the 20 EMA. And currently we're continuing to roll over here. We are still maintaining the uptrend here. As you can see, we created a low, we created a higher low, and we are still yet to break this previous low. So we are still maintaining this uptrend. Of course, Bitcoin is basically holding on by a thread here, but we would need to see a bounce, get back above the EMAs if we are going to maintain this uptrend. If we lose 37.5, this previous swing low, you target the 1.272 at 35K and the 1.618 at about 32,000. However, if we do look here on the four hour time frame, if we can create a strong level support from this level and we see a nice bounce, we could start to see a little bit of an uptrend on this four hour time frame, especially if we come up and we break this high, we start to create higher highs highs and higher lows and come back up to retest the ascending resistance of our ascending triangle here on the four hour time frame now if we look at the bitcoin short positions we did have a steady increase yesterday and we have seen some sell-off they are taking profits a little bit here however we are seeing a steady steady increase in the long positions which can be an early indicator of a move back to the upside so in the short term here if we lose 38.5k i would target about 37.4 you can see all this support in this area and if we're able to create a little bit of an uptrend here resistance to watch 39.4 and then up here at about 40.5k then we have 41.3 and 42.5k personally i think it's really important to be watching the gaussian channel right now 
because um, if I scroll back here for anyone who's new to the channel or haven't seen the five day Gaussian before, each time we broke below the Gaussian channel, it did lead to future sell off. As you can see, COVID capitulation. This is the bear market of 2018. We lost the Gaussian channel, we capitulated down. And if we go all the way back to 2014, 2015 you can see we broke down from the Gaussian channel and we saw a continued sell-off here so if we start to lose that Gaussian channel and we start to back test it as resistance I do think there would be a high likelihood of us coming back down to the 28 to 30k levels for BTC but the longs have been increasing steadily here so if we do see a nice bounce back to the upside create a little bit of an uptrend the level we want to break is this previous high at about 40.3k come up and tackle this high at 40.5 and see that continuation back to the upside that is it for this one let me quickly open up the discord here we have over 1800 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto as well as the dca trade strategy fully explained we have the dca charts for the live um, dollar cost average trades on the channel buy and take profit zones if you want to start dollar cost averaging into your positions i also give trade signals at the ten dollar membership for my exact entries exits take profits and stop losses and you can sign up through the patreon if you want to trade with me sign up to bybit and i'll see you in the next video all right much love take care